Hello all, and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed are thou, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, and grew us also with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, he knew sweet the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all the people of Israel. May we, the offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, the new king of the universe. Who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, give the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his May Adonai make his presence who none you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow a favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is the second read of Hmm, I am horrible. I don't remember the name. Uh Hang on. Matsora. Elisha said, Hear the words of Yahweh. Thus says Yahweh, Tomorrow at this time a, a say of flour shall be sold for a shekel, and two says of barley for a shekel, at the gate of Samaria. Then the captain on whose hand the king leaned said to the man of Elohim, If Yahweh himself should make widows, sorry, windows in heaven, could this thing be? But he said, You shall see it with your own eyes, but you shall not eat of it. Now there were four men who were lepers at the entrance to the gate, and they said to one another, Why are we sit sitting here until we die? If we say, Let us enter the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit there, sit here, we also die. So now... Come, let us go over to the camp of the Syrians. If they spare our lives, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. So they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. But when they came to the edge of the camp of the Syrians, behold, there was no one there. For Yahweh had made the army of the Syrians hear the sound of chariots and of horses, the sound of a great army, so that they said to one another, Behold, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of the Hittites, and the kings of Egypt to come against us. So they fled away in the twilight and abandoned their tents, their horses, and the donkeys, leaving the camp as it was, and fled for their lives. And when the lepers came to the edge of the camp, they went into a tent and ate and drank. And they carried off silver and gold and clothing and went and hid them. Then they came back and entered another tent and carried off their things from it and went and hid them. Then they said to one another, We are not doing right. This day is a day of good news. If we are silent and wait until morning light, punishment will take will overtake us. Now therefore come, let us go and tell the king's household. So they came and called to the gatekeepers of the city and told them, We came to the camp of the Syrians, and behold, there was no one to be seen or heard there. Nothing but the horses tied and the donkeys tied in the tents as they were. But the gatekeeper called out, and it was told within the king's household. And the king rose in the night and said to his servants, I will tell you what the Syrians have done to us. They know that we are hungry. There, therefore they have gone out of the camp to hide themselves among the open country. Thinking, when they come out of the city... We shall take them alive and get into the city. And one of his servants said, Let some men take five of the remaining horses, seeing that those who are left there, who are left here will fare like the whole multitude of Israel, who have already perished. Let us send and see. So they took two horsemen, and the king sent them after the army of the Syrians, saying, Go and see. So they went after them as far as the Jordan, and behold, all the, all the way was littered with garments and equipment that the Syrians had thrown away in their haste, and the messengers returned and told the king. Then the people went out and plundered the camp of the Syrians. So I say of flour was sold for a shekel, and two says of barley was sold for a shekel, according to the word of Yahweh. Now the king had appointed the captain on whose hand he leaned to have charge of the gate. And the people trampled him in the gate so that he died. As the man of Elohim had said when the king came down to him, 
For when the man of Elohim had said to the king, Two says of barley shall be sold for a shekel, and a say of flour for a shekel. About this time tomorrow, in the gate of Samaria, the captain had answered the man of Elohim, If Yahweh himself should make windows in heaven, could such a thing be? And he said, You shall see it with your own eyes, but you shall not eat of it. And so it happened to him. For the people trampled him in the gate, and he died. <coughs> Blessed art thou, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of Torah, Bruker to Adonai, and he malach halo mashal. Asher, natan lenu trade me advice, loam, natabeti kenu, Bruker to Adonai, and teen ha Torah. Well, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.